So, our second topic is this. The brand new Star Wars Acolyte trailer dropped recently hours ago. I knew this was coming out today. I held off this kind of live stream until this dropped because I wanted to add this into the mix for you guys. The Acolyte is something I've really been excited, looking forward to. When it comes to Star Wars, it's kind of a bit in the gutter at the moment. It's on a downward trend, the same as Marvel. You know, we've had a bit of kind of garbage in terms of Star Wars content over recent years. Um, and uh, it's not been good. It's not been good. But this Acolyte, you know, a series focusing on the Sith and the kind of uprising of, you know, the dark side, um, that really, really piqued my interest. But let's dive into this anyway. So, new Star Wars series unveiled in the Acolyte trailer. So, investigation into a shocking crime spree pits respected Jedi Master against a dangerous warrior. Lucasfilm drops trailer for the Acolyte, confirms June 4th release date on Disney Plus with the first two episodes. So, following yesterday's intriguing poster release, Lucasfilm has unleashed a highly anticipated trailer for the Acolyte, sending Star Wars fans into a frenzy. The trailer not only offers a tantalizing glimpse into the series, but also confirms its arrival on Disney Plus on June 4th, with a bonus of the first two episodes dropping simultaneously. This has been a thing that's been happening in streaming recently now, over the past year or so. You know, it happens with, I believe it will happen with the MonsterVerse um, uh, Legacy of Monsters on Apple Plus. Um, they released the first two episodes at the same time as well. It, it gives you a big enough kind of taste of what the series is, releasing the first two episodes, and then kind of switching up to a week by week, where you're kind of keeping the audiences engaged week by week, but giving them the first two episodes, which is a good enough kind of chunk to get people started. I think it's kind of a good compromise between releasing it all at once and doing it week by week, the first two episodes, and then go to a weekly format. I think that's a great way of doing it, and I hope they continue to do that format going forward. So teasing viewers with a cryptic line, in the age of light, a darkness rises. That's kind of cool. I like that. The trailer promises a riveting exploration of the Star Wars universe, darker corners. Accompanying the trailer is a striking second poster, adding to the anticipation and mystery surrounding the series. We have both of those posters in this article, so we're going to check out both of those posters. They're pretty damn cool. I actually like the posters. They're very simplistic, but they convey the message they need to. And uh, more often than not, the simplest of posters are the most effective ones. So get ready to immerse yourself in the epic saga as the Acolyte prepares to make its mark on Disney+. Plus. Check out the trailer below and brace yourself for an adventure like no other. So we're going to be checking out that trailer as well. And uh, let's go down and have a look at this first poster. So this is the first poster for the Acolyte. It's a very, very simple poster, as I said. It's literally a cloaked figure. We have no idea who this figure is from looking at this poster. It could be anyone. It could be a Sith. It could be a Jedi. It could be a just a human character. We have no idea. It's a cloaked figure from behind. We have the sun rising. And um, obviously we have like dark and then light as well. So it's, it's got that kind of juxtaposition between the sunlight and the darkness above. So I kind of like how it's playing on the theme of what this um, series is about. The cloaked figure. And I think this is clouds in the mountains. I can't tell if this is clouds or water. It's a bit hard to tell from here. I'm, I'm going to say with clouds. It looks a bit like clouds. So, But let's go down. So what is the show about? In the Acolyte, viewers will follow a gripping investigation into a shocking crime spree that shakes the very foundations of the Jedi Order. At the center of the storm is a uh, respected Jedi Master, portrayed by the talented uh, Li Jungjie, I hope I'm saying that right, whose unwavering commitment to the justice leads him into a dangerous game of cat and mouse with a formidable adversary from his past. Enter um, Amandala uh, Stenberg's character, sorry again if I'm butchering that name, a dangerous warrior whose enigmatic past uh, intertwines with that of the Jedi Master. Setting the stage for a confrontation that will test the boundaries of light and dark, as the investigation unfolds, more clues surface, pulling our protagonists down a dark and te treacherous, pa uh, treacherous path, sorry, where sinister forces lurk, waiting to reveal that is, uh, waiting to reveal all is not as it seems. So it seems like there's going to be an investigation unfolding. You know, someone's running around in the Star Wars universe, picking off Jedis, and they're trying to investigate what's going on. And obviously, the further they go down the rabbit hole into the investigation, the more the kind of the dark side is going to start presenting itself, and uh, the more it's going to come to the forefront. And that's kind of an interesting premise, to be honest. So with each twist and turn, the Acolyte promises to challenge our perceptions of heroism, villainy, and the very nature of the Force itself. As the lines between good and evil blur, viewers will be drawn into the riveting tale of intrigue, betrayal, and the eternal struggle between light and dark. That's pretty cool. 
the focus of light and dark i kind of like that it's the core concept of kind of what star wars is you've got the dark side of the force the light side of the force and having that at the forefront that's what star wars should be doing and um you know if it goes by this synopsis here it sounds pretty damn cool so this was the other poster as well which they released in an age of light a darkness rises i really really liked this poster when i first saw it the acolyte it's a lightsaber and instead of it being a light beam coming out of the lightsaber it's like um it's like blood on stone and uh the blood coming out of the lightsaber i think that's a really compelling looking image i think it's really really cool and it's again very very simple image stone lightsaber and blood coming out of the lightsaber i think that's a wicked cool image and um yeah you can look at it and it kind of conjures up images of what it what it could mean and uh, that's what a poster does it gets you thinking about it you know so um we have the characters here so amanda stenberg plays may an individual that gets swept up in a sinister mystery one that puts her into the center of the conflict in unexpected ways jay ling uh jay jong jay plays master soul a wise highly respected powerful jedi master strong in the ways of the force who is going through an emotional conflict manny just uh, manny jacinto plays uh, quimmer a former smuggler who now makes his living as a trader he procures unusual things and enjoys a life of leisure carrie ann moss plays uh, master indira a jedi master of great physical and mental skill by the way i do apologize for butchering any of these names i'm trying my best dean charles chapman plays master tobin a depiction for his character was not shared. Um, Jonas Sumtamo plays Master Kel Naka, um, a Jedi loner that lives a solitary life. Jodie Turner-Smith plays Mother Anasia, the leader of a coven of witches who values their independence along with the preservation of their belief and powers. Having witches in the Jedi universe, I think, uh, in the Star Wars universe, sorry, is a pretty compelling thing. I really like what they did in Ahsoka, you know, leaning into the witches. Uh, I thought that was a pretty cool concept. Charlie Barnett um, plays Yord Fanda, a Jedi Knight and a Jedi Temple Guardian and an overachiever, a rule follower. He needs to be uh, by the book. Nature uh, can cloud his judgment. Daphne Keen, Great to see Daphne Keen in there. X-23 from the Logan movie. Um, plays Jackie Lon, a Jedi Padawan, the apprentice to Master Soul. She is young but conducts herself with maturity. And last but not least, Rebecca Henderson plays uh, Vernestra Roa. An elder Jedi Master who has ascended the ranks of the Jedi from a teenage prodigy, a prodigy to a leader in the Jedi Order. So plenty of different characters there, guys. Pause it and have a reread of these characters if you need to. Or come over and check out this article for yourself if you want to reread these characters. So there's a lot of different Jedi characters um, in the mix there. Kind of, um, you know, uh, going to be flowing around on screen. Plenty of, plenty of Jedi action going on in this series, that's for sure. This is pretty underwhelming, I would say. I mean, there's not much to it. There's not much that we haven't seen before in Star Wars. It's a few Jedi on screen. There's some lightsabers. Yeah, there's a few Jedi on screen. There's a few lightsabers. There's a red lightsaber to indicate the Sith. There's nothing really here that's all that exciting. Given Star Wars' track record as of late, they needed to knock this out of the park. But it just doesn't look all that enticing to me. I mean, I can understand why people may get um, interested with this. I think the concepts sound excellent, but... The actual trailer itself is underwhelming and i think a lot of people are going to have the same sentiment here there's a few jedi a few lightsabers there's a little kind of tiff in the marketplace between a jedi and an unknown assassin and yeah that's about it i expected some sort of grandiose kind of sith unveiling seeing the sith seeing how they work and kind of their uprising but it didn't really give us any of that so it was a bit underwhelming for me you guys may feel different but anyway, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Did you see anything in there that piqued your interest? Have you seen the uh, trailer in full? You know, again, did it pique your interest or did you find it lackluster like I did? If you have any thoughts, comments and opinions, jump into the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say.